At ESA ESMO 2021, I am presenting the results of the Atteso Tribe, which is an independent no-profit trial by the Gono Foundation in Italy. And uh, the aim of this uh, trial uh, is uh, to make uh, immunotherapy efficacious also in a microsatellite stable metastatic colorectal cancer. In fact, we have impressive results in microsatellite instable tumors, but today we need to understand how to make immunotherapy efficacious also in the vast majority of metastatic metastatic colorectal cancer patients. So we randomized the previously untreated metastatic colorectal cancer patients, so first-line therapy, to receive fulfoxiribav with or without the addition of atezolizumab. And we randomized the 218 patients in 22 centers throughout Italy. Uh, the results in terms of safety are quite reassuring because uh, uh, chemotherapy and the bevacizumab related adverse events occurred within the expected frequency and the addition of atezolizumab was not associated with an increased toxicity. Also with regard to potential immune related adverse events, they, uh, there were not special warnings or special findings. The primary endpoint of the study was met. The addition of atezolizumab to first line Folfoxiri plus Bevacizumab significantly prolonged the progression-free survival of these patients, with the 13.1 median progression-free survival in the experimental arm as compared with 11.5 months in the control arm, with an hazard ratio of 0.69, which was statistically significant. In this trial, we enrolled both microsatellite instable and microsatellite stable tumors. In fact, when the trial was conceived, we had no solid results about the efficacy of immune checkpoint inhibitors in first line in metastatic colorectal cancer, and we had around 7% of MSI high tumors in the study. Uh, while the magnitude of the benefit from the addition of atezolizumab is for sure larger in um, MSI high, still there is a signal of efficacy also in the vast majority of the patient's population who were microsatellite stable. So I do not think that these results are ready for the prime time in a daily clinical practice, but they are good food for thoughts to further deepen our knowledge about this potential therapeutic strategy, and I think that we will will have interesting results also from the uh, program of a translational analysis which are currently ongoing.